as the curve is completely flat, and l- around here, if you're not if you're new to the show, for instance, we're not deniers. We're not. This is nothing. It's the flu. It's not the flu. It's a horrible, insidious disease that that kills lots of people. Not as many people as we thought, but uh, it's 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 terrible. On the other hand, in your blue states, your nanny states, your would-be socialist utopias, the leaders of those states, from uh, New York to Illinois to California and all points in between, are doubling down on the restrictions, even as cases wane. Uh, Pretty, pretty Gavin Newsom, the would-be dictator of California, has decided because he's pissed off personally that people went to beaches and parks and socially isolated and were masked up. And and freaking nobody caught the the Chinese bat fever at the park. Um, He's decided he's going to close all state beaches and parks, even though the curve is flat and there are less cases. It's it's utterly outrageous. And, And listen, be smart, people. Or, or you're, you're not uh, my buddy. Social distance, mask up, don't speak damply on each other, to quote Justin Trudeau of Canada. And go to the park, go to the golf course, go to the beach, do it. Wow. I, seriously. Radio host Joe Getty asking for people to defy laws. Civil disobedience. I say absolutely. And then let the courts decide. We were talking about a California business that a guy uh, we used to know is going to open his gyms. Do it. There, we got this note here. You know what? I'm going to quote a little bit from it. From, you can't stop me, Jack. I'm, I'm fired up. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're uh, This is a, an art gallery in Napa, California. We're reopening our art gallery in downtown Napa no later than your 11 a.m. Monday. Your art gallery. Oh, my God, your art gallery. Who's ever been uh, within six feet of more than one person at an art gallery in their life? <laughs> no kidding. Uh, we're no later than uh, 11 a.m. Monday. Appropriate and adequate social distancing protocol will be in cl- place and observed. Uh, city, county, and state officials are being notified with encouragement to adjust any policies and plans accordingly. Uh, as of next Monday, our gallery's doors will have been closed by county and state order for six weeks and three days. Over that span, the county of Napa, population 138,000, has recorded two deaths attributable to the COVID-19 virus, both from over three weeks ago, with 60 confirmed cases in the county total, of which 26 have recovered by the most recent county report. As of last Monday, there were three known cases in the entire county hospitalized, including one in intensive care. We've been averaging fewer than two new cases reported daily since the first two were reported March 22nd, etc. There is no justification for having that gallery forcibly closed. None. One final note, because I'm looking at the response uh, to this, uh, the gyms reopening. Uh, this county official said, businesses should not be reopening. The shelter in place will be extended and sent out sometime tomorrow. Uh, but, but people should not be planning to reopen unless stated otherwise by the county. Why is the donut shop open, but the guy, the gym is not? And the gym has in detail explained how they're going to keep everybody safe. Yeah, yeah, you have to be a certain amount apart. They're going to wipe down all the machinery. But seriously, has anybody answered that question? Why could I take my kids to get ice cream, but the bookstore next door is closed? Why? Don't give me books aren't essential. Food, ice cream is not essential. That's a BS reason. That is not an argument. But donuts are not essential either, just because they fall into the category of food. So it's just it's just a stupid kind of mistake of bureaucracy. Well, and what the, where the rubber meets the road to me is that the whole donuts yes, uh, books no thing. It, that's just it's sloppy. It's dumb. But you can't be sloppy, dumb, and even more angering to me, cavalier and snide, a uh, cocky. Uh, about taking away people's constitutional rights. Back to pretty, pretty Gavin Newsom of Cal Unicornia. Barking, the virus doesn't take the weekend off, so we're closing all the beaches and all the park. No, 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 you don't suspend the Constitution and our most cherished rights with that tone of voice, mister. You explain carefully and humbly 
why it's necessary for an extremely limited time. You apologize from the depths of your soul and explain how it's the worst thing you've ever had to do and you're going to change it the second you think it's safe. Even then, I think you're probably wrong. But God dang it, if you don't take that tone, son, you're going to see people by the hundreds of thousands ignoring your orders and streaming onto the beaches, into the parks, and opening their businesses with two middle fingers raised in the air, Pointed at you, and you'll have deserved it. Yeah, and it'll, and it'll make you look weak. So you might want to be uh, make it look like it was your decision. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> about to lose all control, handsome. Yeah, have you ever lost control of like a group of kids or something? Like that? I mean, it's just <laughs> you yep. Want, you know, you, you want to make it look like it was your decision to let all these people run onto the beach. 